This week's review has to be the unveiling of the best kept secret of scopes, and it isn't going to break the bank either. Hello and welcome to AAR on Air. This week is the exposing of a scope that will suit more setups than I care to think about and its top draw quality for around £115 UK is probably all the scope you will need for a whole host of situations and setups. It is light and did I say high quality? This is aircraft grade aluminium. Let's take a closer look at this fixed magnification 10x44 Veyron scope. The first thing is the size. This is going to suit most any bullpup or shorter compact setup and because it's small it's light too. It is only 245 millimeters long and tips the scales at a mind-blowingly low weight of 500 grams and that figure is with the included honeycomb fitted along with the included flip-ups front and rear. This isn't some cheaply made thing either. It has all the same build quality as the superb Veyron range it stems from and has a 30 millimeter tube which is nitrogen purged just the same as the rest of the range but this has done away with the range of magnification and has a fixed 10 times mag which means less glass and of course less weight not only that but the light doesn't have to travel through as much glass and it also improves the brightness of this absolute budget belter it has a 44 millimeter objective lens and a 33 millimeter ocular lens diameter the eye relief is around 90 millimeters or about three and a half inches it comes with the mounts of your choice which are also really good quality and have that and it has rather that honeycomb anti-glare on the front which is completely invisible in use but it can also be removed if you wish here is the amazing part if that little lot so far doesn't confirm how good this unit is the reticle is etched not wire etched so you'll have no worries putting this on the most aggressive of springers either indeed these are actually rated for the use on small firearms so dropping this on your pcp it's going to be no issue at all that reticle has more than enough hold over and hold under marks and is bright and clear even to the poorest of eyes without being too thick or overly bold and obscuring your vision this has a side focus and yes a side focus on a 115 pound scope this is able to focus down to around 10 yards which is crazy you could club the thing to death at that short distance the elevation and windage turrets are superb with smooth action and defined clicks they're also lockable and they can even be re-zeroed and they supply the tool in the box for to do that and that helps stop marking the black finish on the scope there is also the ability to adjust the eye relief of your individual eyes or prescription about the only thing this doesn't have is an illuminated reticle but come on for this money and it's going to give you longer shooting times at dusk and dawn anyway because of the brighter optics most of you will know i am a fan of the quality of vector optic scopes and for the money i really don't think you can go far wrong with them in fact with most of the veyron range but this does feel like it's been released but kept quiet and yet it would be the perfect scope for 30 to 40 meter pest control maybe 30 meter target work etc 
notwithstanding the lower weight, meaning this can be part of a lighter weight setup and be carried around all day or all night without becoming tiring. It would also be useful for the increasing number of ladies entering our sport and of course anyone who doesn't need high magnification or heavy optics. I've used this on a few setups myself and I will admit to now owning one and it often finds itself on top of my Walther Rain. Of course, put something like this on the ultra, ultra light AGT Vixen and you would barely know you were carrying anything. This has just been a brief insight to a super little scope and I think it needs bringing to people's attention. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short review on a short scope. If so, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, click the alarm notification bell and visit the AAR On Air website. A big thank you to Vector Air for this one and their help as always. The biggest thanks as always goes out to you guys for watching and supporting the channel and understanding what it is we're trying to do for the airgun community. Please stay safe and shoot safe and hopefully I'll see you all next week. The chances are it won't be as bright, sunny, probably a little less breezy than it is here. But time to return to Blighty. That's it. Bye for now.